In this video, we're gonna cover six tips for how to deal with a workplace bully. Because odds are, at some point in your career, you're probably gonna to have to deal with a workplace bully. With these six tips, we hope that you'll be more confident in work and be able to find the support you need to deal with your workplace bully successfully. And stay tuned to the very end because we're giving you a free worksheet that you can download. Have you ever dealt with a bully at work? Tell us in the comments below. Hi Contessas, welcome back. I'm Lauren McGoodwin, founder and CEO of Career Contessa, a career site built for women. Be sure to subscribe and like our channel because we release videos every single week. Today we're gonna to talk about workplace bullying. And while bullying might sound like something that you would only experience in middle school or at a slumber party, I can actually tell you that's sadly not the truth. Bullying, especially in the workplace, is something that prevails well into adulthood. 70% of workplace bullies are men. However, more than half of the targets of bullies are women. And what's worse, 80% of female bullies also target other women. If you're dealing with a bully at work, we have some great tips for you. Number one, don't take the blame. Bullying happens for tons of different reasons. Maybe the bully feels insecure, maybe they feel like they're not good at their job, or maybe they feel like they need to compete with you. Or they might simply be comparing themselves to other people and their accomplishments. Whatever the reason, it's important to understand that their behavior is a reflection of them, the bully, and not you. Don't take on the responsibility of how this bully has decided to treat you. Do not blame yourself. Number two, document everything. It's important to document everything because it gives credibility to your story and it can be evidence for later. When you decide to write things down, write them down exactly how they happen. Don't let your imagination start to change the story on you. And like we said before, you're gonna wanna have these things written down for evidence later if you decide to have a formal complaint. As far as documentation goes, you have a few options. If the bullying is happening through email or phone, you can save that fairly easily. You can even print hard copies of the behavior and store them in a folder. If it's a voicemail, make a recording of that. If the bullying happens in person, try to write down what happened and when for your reference later. If anybody witnessed that behavior, write that down too. Number three, tell someone. It's important to not stay quiet about bullying because you don't wanna make it so that this behavior is okay or that you are okay with being treated like that. Start by talking to human resources, your direct manager, or just a trusted coworker if you're not ready to file an official complaint. Review your company's policies, because some companies will allow you to file an anonymous complaint, which could be a more approachable way to notify people of the problem, especially if you're fearful of any retaliation. An example of addressing bullying with human resources might be, I have been receiving emails from Ted that are incredibly inappropriate. He has repeatedly called me incompetent and blamed me for his late work, even though I met the deadlines. Here are a few of the emails he has sent and the projects we have each submitted with timestamps. What are the next steps I should take? Number four, squad up. Oftentimes, workplace bullies don't just pick on one person. If you feel comfortable, talk to your coworkers about your bully's behavior and see if it's happening to any one of them. There's power in numbers. And if all of you can document and talk to human resources, there's a better chance of your bully being confronted about their actions. When you're approaching your coworkers about the bully, make sure that you're not coming across as accusatory or gossiping or even over-exaggerating what it is that the person has done. You wanna gather your data and find your allies in a professional way. Number five, confrontation. If and when you feel comfortable, set up a time to talk directly to your bully. Confrontation might be super uncomfortable, but it's also probably very necessary in order to actually end this whole bullying thing. Sometimes standing up for yourself will make the bully's behavior stop completely. If it helps, ask your manager or a human resource representative to be present as a third party. If you choose to confront them, try your best to stick to the facts. Explain the behavior you're seeing, how this behavior is affecting your work, and what you'd like to be done differently. This is a great time to bring up your emails or actions you've been documenting. Number six, ask for specifics. Another method that you can try is to ask for more specific feedback from your bully. That way when they are actually harassing you or belittling you, you can point it out right then and there. 
If your bully is claiming that they can do your job better or that the job should be done in a different way, this is the time to really say, okay, tell me more specifically, what do you want to be done differently? Because this is really where the bully has to actually, you know, talk about the specifics or they need to basically shut up. For example, if they say, I should have just done this myself, take this opportunity to ask, well, what exactly would you have done differently? I'll be sure to do that next time. Sometimes this can backfire on the bully if they don't have any actually constructive criticism to give you. We hope that these tips will help you put an end to your own workplace bully and also just bullying in general in the workplace. If you're feeling like you need to pick me up at work, download our free self-love at work guide. You'll be feeling more confident and more supported in no time. You can always count on yourself to be there for you. That download is linked below. And now we wanna know, how have you handled a workplace bully? Tell us in the comments below. We'd love to hear your tips and advice because it can actually be helpful for all of us. Did you find this video helpful? Be sure to give us a like and subscribe because we drop videos weekly.